So, great football story, or I should say soccer story for you now. Uh, a new equal pay agreement between the United States men's and women's teams has been announced, and it's been hailed as potentially changing the game around the world. US soccer says the teams will now pool their World Cup prize money along with their share of television and sponsorship revenues. Let's uh, get more on this now. We're joined by Eric Mitchell. Eric is a sports analyst and is based in Dallas. Hi to you, Eric. Um, just give us a bit more background to how this happened. There's been a lot of campaigning by some pretty high profile people as well, some Hollywood celebrities, basically for equal pay. Absolutely. And you got to keep in mind, U.S. soccer here, you know, U.S. football, they have gone by this motto, one nation, one team. And for years, it actually wasn't equal. And now we can proudly say it actually is. They are one nation, one team, are women who I think most of us around the world, when it comes to soccer, will be able to rattle off some of the most amazing names in soccer for women from our team. Now, I challenge anybody across the world to ch rattle off just a few names from our men's national team. This is amazing. We're celebrating this year. I think as this is a global accomplishment because let's face it, everyone looks at our women's team as a dominant force out there in World Cup and in the Olympics. And they deserve this pay because let's face it, they've actually won in the World Cup. They've actually done and performed well, and they perform year after year when we do have the Olympics. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we should remind all of our viewers around the world that the uh, American female soccer team is hugely successful uh, and actually has probably more followers than, than the men's soccer. But do you think this could have ramifications for football, as uh, we like to call it, around the world, though, and other sports even as, as well, but women's football? Absolutely. I think this is eye opening. Everyone, you know, it, everyone looks to the UK and looks to, of course, America for sports. Right. When it comes to football, I, obviously, Europe and UK lead the way and America's catching up in the sport. But this is eye opening because we've had struggles here in the United States with equal rights for our sports. We see it in the WNBA, right, competing against the NBA. We see it now with soccer. We've seen it. Now, the great thing about this collective bargaining agreement is it brings equal shares. Here's a good, great comparison for you real fast. 2016 or 2018, when France won the World Cup, that team made $40 million. The women's team who won the World Cup, US women's team who won it, took home $4 million. You see, this is now gonna be able to pull that money in and now the men's team will actually make some money also off of the women from performing well because that team always finishes in the top four. This is great around the world, it'll wake up and get everybody these equal rights. Equality in sports is what we need. Women in sports is amazing. It's great. And this is exciting for everyone out there. If you're an athlete, you should be excited for this. Uh, Eric, really good to talk to you. Eric Mitchell there speaking to us uh, from Dallas.